the Rangers score six goals in the third period. This was actually a tie game going into the third, and the Rangers explode and win it 8-2 at Detroit. A much-needed win. Uh, a lot of good things to talk about in this one. The Rangers improved to 7-5-3. and three. They played pretty well on the road. This was actually a part of the dad strip. Uh, and, you know, they definitely showed off for their fathers. Uh, eight goals is, is quite quite the number. Uh, like I said, six in the third. And uh, dad strip will continue, I believe, into Nashville. Um, so hopefully that can continue that good, uh, the good vibes or whatever it might be. Uh, hopefully that helps. The Rangers were the better team in this one. Uh, and, and really... Um, were very dominant in the third. You know, first period, I guess, really w- was kind of even. But when you look at it, first period was, was a fairly even. And, and as the game progressed, the Rangers got better and better, I felt. Um, and, you know, especially in that third period. Uh, the, and it, it helps have Ryan Lindgren back, right? So Lindgren back in the lineup, to me, that, that's important. And so Zach Jones is out of the lineup. And um, look, I, I think that Libor Hayek has been playing all right, and Zach Jones has been making mistakes, so I'm okay with it. To me, when I look at the defensive pairs tonight, I thought Lundgren Fox did a really good job. Adam Fox had a, just a, a spectacular night. Four points, was a plus three. Uh, he has been really, really good. I mean, when you think about defensemen so far this season, offensively, the only ones that have been better than him, I would say, are Eric Carlson and Rasmus Dahlin. Uh, but Adam Fox has been tremendous, and it's not as if like this is all power play point stuff. No, he this is I mean he has four goals even strength, uh, and Adam Fox actually had the winning goal in this one. So I thought that pair was good. You know, Miller Truba didn't love it. Uh, like, and I think Keandre Miller has not had a great year, and a lot of that is to do with Jacob Truba. Don't get me wrong, but but we got to be fair as well. Miller himself has struggled, so didn't love that pair tonight. But they've had worse nights than this, and Hayek Schneider was okay. Uh, and I would expect to see that again. So Hayek actually scored a goal. Um, that's how crazy this game got. Um, so, you know, would expect Zach Jones to sit again. Now let's talk about the forwards. Uh, and this is where I think good stuff in terms of what the lines were. I think the Rangers should stick with this for a while. Now, that start, so Ryan Reeves is a healthy scratch again, which I agree with. And it makes your fourth line a lot better. But not only that, Ryan Carpenter, a healthy scratch, is Julian Gauthier is back in the lineup. So... Now you have a fourth line of Blay, Goodrow, and Goche. Not a bad fourth line. And it really played pretty well. Like, that's a competent fourth line. No Reeves, no Carpenter. Like, that is, to me, what you're looking for. Um, and I hope that continues. I mean, that, 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 assume, that assumes that you stay fully healthy, which is tough to, to do. Um, they went back to the kid line, which played well. Um, they drew some penalties. They... Um, we're, we're on for the winning goal. So, you know, I, I thought the kid line was, you know, Kako, to me, out of all three of them, wasn't super noticeable, but that's okay. I, I thought Heedle had some nice jump. Lafreniere was doing some good things in this one. So, i uh, happy to see them back together. And then the first two lines, technically speaking, um, you had Zibanejad centering Kreider and Beasy, and that that line played well. It really did. Jimmy VZ played a really good game. VZ had a goal and an assist. He was a plus three. Um, I should also mention Barkley, Barkley Goodrow had a really nice night, a three-point night. Uh, one goal, two assists for Goodrow. And he found himself on the fourth goal in Trocek's spot as Trocek had uh, went to the locker room briefly. Uh, and within that time, Goodrow centered you know, and scored. But I thought VZ played well tonight. And it's interesting. I think I had mentioned this a little bit on – when VZ, when, you know, you heard about VZ potentially joining the Rangers, is that he, you know, he has played with Crowder and Zibanejad before. Um, probably more so, I would say more so Zibanejad than Crowder even, because both of them were left wings, especially at that time, where I think VZ in his first Rangers team was more exclusively on the left side. Uh, but obviously, like, you know, they were teammates for, you know, three years. He was teammates with, with Zibanejad and Carter for three years, which means something. So, you know, VZ understands their game. And so, you know, I just think, at least temporarily, it, it, it's okay. It kind of works. And then it's Panarin, uh, Trocek, and Kratzov, which was, that was the hope going into the season. And Kratzov had his best game of the year tonight. 
Uh, the line as a whole, I didn't think was anything special. And, and I think defensively, there could be issues like that line is definitely not. I mean, I mean, Trocek is a, is a good two way player, but really, that's kind of an all or nothing type of line. But like I said, it's good to see Kraftsov do well. We'll see what happens. But these were these are the ideal lines to me, right? With Carpenter and Reeves on the bench, and go at the kid line. You got that fourth line. VZ with Zvanagen and Kreider, and Kravtsov with Panarin and, and, and uh, Trocek. I think that's the way you got to go. Um, but the Rangers uh, would jump out to the early, not early lead, but they would eventually score, and it would be Mika Zibanejad. So Zibanejad scores two goals in the night. Zibanejad actually up to nine goals in the season. So, But these were his first two even straight goals, I believe. So the first seven were actually on the power play. So... Um, you know, no, that, that's actually not true. His he had six power play goals, um, and right now three even. Sh- oh no, no, that, that is correct. This was his first two even straight goals because he had a shorthanded goal, I think, on opening night against the Lightning or thereabouts. Uh, and so Zabanajad finally gets on the board in the even strength department. Uh, it's his eighth goal of the season at the time from out of the box. A nice face-off win. It's, a, it's sort of a classic Zibanejad one-time slap shot that goes in. But then Detroit ties it up. And this is where Fox makes a little bit of a mistake. He, he pinches when he probably shouldn't have. Put the Rangers in a tough spot. Uh, Lafreniere maybe could have better defensive coverage. But the Red Wings tied. It's Joe Valeno scoring his second of the season from Berggren and Mata. Uh, and so we're tied up at one going into the second period. Uh, the Rangers would have some power plays. Initially unsuccessful as Adam Ernie hooks Philip at 241. No uh, power play goal for the Rangers there. Then they do score on their next opportunity uh, as Sunquist slashes Kako. And it's a... Sorry, out of order here. Out of order. So the Rangers don't score on that initial power play. And then the Red Wings uh, take a 2-1 lead. It is Lucas Raymond, his sixth goal of the season from Larkin. Uh, so it's a 2-1 Red Wings lead at this point. And this is a bad turnover by Keandre Miller. Uh, a turnover by Keandre Miller that eventually sets up Raymond for the goal. Um, and, you know, and Shesterkin wasn't tested. I, I feel like Igor did his best work early in the third where there were some tough chances. But Igor, you know, kind of a ho-hum type of night. Only 20 shots on goal for the Red Wings. Igor gives up two goals. Um, you know, nothing special, but nothing terrible either. Uh, and so the Rangers, like I said, they get that power play as Kako slash, and the Rangers score. It's it's Kreider uh, on a nice setup from Panarin. It's Kreider's sixth of the season for Panarin and Fox. So the Rangers tied up at two after the Red Wings took that lead. The Rangers would get a power play as Sherratt trips Kreider. Ranger power play unsuccessful. Then Kratsov is called for a tripping penalty as he trips Mo Sider. Didn't love this call, uh, and, and so it's a power play that extends into the third period, but the Rangers do kill it off. Shisterka made a couple of nice saves. And then the Rangers' onslaught would commence. They would score six goals in a little over ten minutes and thirty minutes, ten minutes and thirty seconds of action. Just craziness. And and it starts with Adam Fox. Fox is fourth goal of the season from Heedle and Lafreniere. Then shortly thereafter, it's Barkley Goodrow scoring his third of the season from Panarin. And Kravtsov, really nice play by Goodrow. Great pass by Panarin as well. It's Kravtsov's first point of the season. And then, less than a minute later, it's Sabanajad scoring his second goal of the year, a second goal of the game, ninth of the season, from VZ and Kreider. So VZ with a nice job, you know, going to the net, takes a couple of shots, and Sabanajad finally puts it home past, past Vili Husso. So Husso is in net for the Red Wings, the former uh, St. Louis Blue goaltender with the Rangers face Nadelkovich. At the Garden on Sunday, here they face Huso, and so it's 5-2. And then the Rangers, uh, 46 seconds later, score again. It's Julian Gauthier, his second goal of the season from Goodrow and Blay, 6-2 Rangers. Then it's Libor Hayek scoring his first goal since 2021 uh, from Heedle and Lafreniere, 12-47, it's 7-2 Rangers. Then, uh, and really at this point, the Rebels have given up, but uh, Heedle takes the cross-checking penalty. But the Rangers score shorthanded. It's Jimmy Vesey scoring, you know, with a man down. His second goal of the season from Goodrow and Fox. Rangers take an 8-2 lead, and that's the score they would win by. 8-2. I mean, really uh, very impressive. 
this is what you're hoping for, and this is why it was frustrating for the Rangers to lose home against Detroit, to lose home against the Islanders, games that should have been won that weren't, but, you know, hopefully this can get them going in the right direction as they head to Nashville. Uh, so the Rangers are now 7-5-3. and three. They, have to, they, have to, they take on a national team that, that's going to be frustrated. They're 5-8-1. and one. It's been a really poor start for the Predators. Uh, they're better than the record indicates, but it's a, it's a certainly a winnable game. But you have to understand, Predators are going to be a pretty upset hockey club, but one that's struggling. On the flip side, the Rangers then face the Coyotes at home, and, and the Coyotes have actually played a lot better than, expect, than, than most expect. They're 6-6-1. Six, six and one. And the Rangers played a, a pretty – I mean, the Rangers deserved to win the game that they did, but they won a close game in Arizona. The Coyotes just beat the Islanders, and the Coyotes will be playing the Devils, a hot devil squad, the night before they play the Rangers. So both teams will be coming off of games the night before, but it's kind of interesting where they're both winnable games, and I hope they win both, but the Predators, who have more of a playoff pedigree in recent years, is the team that's really struggling. The Coyotes are actually kind of winning some hockey games lately. Uh, again, you know, against some decent teams. So, um, But I am hoping the Rangers win both. My guess would be you'll see Igor at Nashville and uh, Halak home against the Coyotes. It could go the other way, but it will be a split for sure. That, that, that's definite. It's just a matter of who gets which game. And again, I, I think they go Igor versus Nashville, and then Halak versus the Coyotes would be my guess. So, But again, good win by the, from the Rangers. Uh, much needed after a, a tough, you know, tough stretch there, especially with that Islander game. But a really nice third period, answering some questions. I like the lines. This is a very positive game and outcome. And hopefully they can really start to get going here and, you know, continue to win hockey games.